So, Taylor Swift and Ed Sheeran decided to melt every Londoner's heart by performing together. I mean, could they have found a more iconic pairing? Next, they'll be adopting puppies and turning water into wine. Really, what's next? Can we talk about the screaming fans? They were so loud, you could probably hear them all the way in Australia. Seriously, Taylor could have just stood there and they'd still lose their minds. Ed Sheeran could strum one chord and bam, instant pandemonium. Rumor has it, Taylor's glitter budget for this concert alone could fund a small national treasury. I mean, if you didn't get a speck of glitter on you, were you really even there? It's basically concert baptism. Ed Sheeran rocked up with his guitar like, hey, I'm your friendly neighborhood ginger, and turned that stage into his personal jam session. Meanwhile, Taylor's there like, hold my sparkling microphone, it's showtime. In a plot twist no one saw coming, someone threw their phone on stage and Ed Sheeran almost turned it into a new album on the spot. Do you reckon that person's phone is now worth more than a small island? After the show, the internet exploded faster than microwave popcorn. Memes, tweets, videos, you name it. Parents are probably out there grounding their kids to get some Wi-Fi peace. Meanwhile, Swifties and Shirios were born anew. So question for the audience. If you could watch Taylor Swift and Ed Sheeran perform in any magical location, where would it be? Hogwarts Great Hall, perhaps? Or maybe a floating concert on Cloud Nine? Like and subscribe, please.